Starting today, Rhode Island will allow people to sit at bars, but not stand at them and eat or just linger. It's music to the ears of business owners. Kate Walsh joins us now live in Providence. Well, Patrick, we're live at noon here outside Massimo Restaurant. It's a popular place here on Federal Hill. And I just went inside to check out how it's looking now that the bar area is able to be open starting today. And they're looking forward to having a busy Valentine's Day weekend. Lots of reservations already. But they are a little concerned about the 90-minute limit on how long you can sit at the bar, hoping that restriction will be the next to get lifted. For the last three weeks, we've had some momentum. We've been able to get the curfew lifted. We've been able to change the guest count at the tables for guests to be able to come together a little better. And now bringing back the bars truly gives us some more hope of a chance to return to normalcy. An early Valentine's gift for restaurants in Rhode Island, bar areas can open, but with restrictions. Parties of four or fewer from two households can sit together, divided by plexiglass partitions and three feet of space on each side. The Federal Hill Commerce Association's Rick Simone said that's not ideal, but it's a start. We've called on the state, the governor's office, Department of Health, and the Commerce Corporation to literally review these restrictions every week going forward. Massimo restaurant manager Leslie Hall is hopeful this will give them a boost. We had bar tables pushed up against the bar with plexiglass dividers. We were only able to seat four guests at one bar at a time. I mean, four is better than none. Uh, so now we're hoping to get a maximum of 12 people at the bar. So it, it triples, triples our business. So they're definitely hopeful here, and as you saw in the video, they're able to slide those dividers depending on how many people you are with in your party so that you can be separated from the party next to you. There's also a bar upstairs here, so they're hopeful that they'll have about three quarters of the number of people they'd usually be able to have before COVID at the bar area starting today with that restriction being lifted. And Simone just told me that actually he's found out Massimo is already getting reservations, calls for reservations for people hopeful to sit at the the bar area this weekend. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.